here we are at Super Lab Battle 2023, the fifth year of the United States' premier time attack event here at the Circuit of the America, Austin, Texas. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Rafa with Rafa Racing. We're back at Coda here for Super Lap Battle. Here with Cameron Lawrence, pro driver in IMSA. He's going to be taking the 720 GT3X with me uh, and seeing whether we can actually win this thing. Really excited. I'm not sure exactly what the format is. We'll figure that out as we go. Cameron's real familiar with it, and uh, you can tell us more about it. Yeah, today's just practice day. We're here on Friday. Uh, everybody's getting warmed up. It's just an open track day, kind of like we did on Monday, but only three hours long with a lot of other cars. So the weather's perfect. The car looks really good. The guys are happy with it. We're about to go shake it down today before we get in all the time attack stuff tomorrow. Alright guys, so we're here. It's almost getting close to 4 o'clock right now. Uh, track is actually cold right now because someone apparently blew a motor down the front straight. So big cleanup going on just behind you guys. Uh, behind me though, we've got the 720S GT3X. Uh, been going through a lot of changes. Again, we got Ray here from Crucial, so he's been a big help. We've got complete new setup on the car. Uh, feels pretty sporty. We're just kind of trying to find the balance right now. So. Um, you know, going through a couple different setups, going through a ton of different changes, react differently to what they did on Monday. The NASCAR was here for two days, putting a lot of Goodyear rubber down. So we kind of have a lot of things that we're just trying to wrap our head around and see what is the better package and where we should go with that. So I've gotten a few good runs in the car. Rafa's got some more seat time as well. Already matching his times from last uh, week with traffic. Uh, everything's looking good for this weekend. We're just uh, fine tuning at this point before we really go throw something down later. All right, so it's the end of practice here today. Uh, there was a couple of incidents late in the day that kind of kept me from going out, uh, but we focused on Cameron and trying to get the car dialed in with all the suspension work. Uh, we actually had swapped the rotors with a more aggressive rotor and brake pad. There was some vibration there, so we went back to the original ones that came with the car, uh, and I think that might be what we stick with. So play a little bit with the suspension. Hopefully tomorrow we take the first session to dial that in again. It looks like it's gonna be a little warm and hot tomorrow. Uh, but Sunday, if we do make it to the qualities or I guess that second round, it's going to be perfect and beautiful outside. So I think Sunday will be the best day for us to set potentially a lap record here. All right, morning. This is the first day of the Super Lap Battle. We're pulling into Coda, driving a big body mammoth. And uh, we have a driver's minute here in about 15 minutes. I think the format that Cameron and I are going to follow is two sessions in the morning, two sessions in the afternoon. Since he's actually the one that's truly going to push to win this thing, we're going to probably let him go in the morning. But we'll figure out what our you know sort of race engineer and program engineer that we have here decides to do. We should pretty much be able to do clean laps throughout the day, unlike yesterday practice where there was a lot of cars slowing us down, uh, all kinds of different, you know, speed levels. My goal today would be to like break a 210, and if I can do that, I think I'll be extremely happy. One of the cool things that they have is they have like a car show here today. They're doing some drifting out here in the, uh, in the upper paddock. But as you can see, there's all kinds of cars there, are in different classes. Um, there's a lot of cars down there that have the craziest wings and splitters, and they end up coming out and trying to set a fast lap 
But if they go back out a second time, sometimes the car doesn't like it. So uh, hopefully we don't have too many delays. Yesterday in practice, we already had, I think, three cars blow up. One of them made a massive oil spill to the front straight. Hopefully the day goes clean and we don't have any big incidents uh, to deal with. All right, so this is the second group going out in a super lap battle. Not sure what group they're actually in, what class they're in, uh, but they're definitely in street tires. It looks like uh, all kinds of classes there. There's like a Mitsubishi, Pontiac. That car looks actually pretty insane. Look how a lot of things to the ground. That looks absolutely wild. A lot of really cool builds. Uh, but yeah, this guy's at Hondas, Nissans, Corvette. This could potentially be just like an open uh, street racing type of uh, setup because these cars look more like actual race uh, road cars than race cars. I think our session camera is going to go out, check the car down, come back, see if we need any adjustments, and maybe I'll go out. Otherwise, I'll go out in the second session at some point. So we're starting to warm up the car, got the tire warmers on the tires, and now they're doing the final check so that we know that when it's time to go here in 30, 45 minutes to line up, the car's going to be ready to go. So today's actually going to be even hotter this afternoon. So this morning is probably going to be where we're going to get the best times. First runs down, uh, just got done with the first session. Um, weather's not bad, but it's super windy today. It's pretty crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but a lot of guys had issues that first run. Actually got held up by Ferris just a little bit because he actually ran out of gas. So uh, everybody's kind of getting their act together, getting things cleaned up a bit, um, but we were kind of on it, I guess. We're P1 right now at a 201.7, and we're still going for the two flat or 159. So the guys are working over my shoulder getting everything dialed in all the data um, i'm about to go coach myself up look at a little video and data and hopefully clean some things up for run two but uh, again we're super happy to get a lap in and uh, we'll see where the rest of the day goes from McLaren and we're back here at Cota with the 720S GT3X for the Super Lap Battle Time Attack event. Still chipping away at that two minute barrier and I think actually the track conditions have evolved a little bit so they're not quite as good as they were on Monday now and you know, we've got a higher ambient temperature so the track surface is higher, a little bit more slick. It's been a really fun event so far, great to see so many people taking an interest in the car as well. I mean, you know, it's a pretty rare car in the world, I mean, there's only 15 of them around so, you know, to bring it out here and show everybody what it's all about is really fun. So yeah, we'll see how we get on for the rest of the weekend.
first day, Super Lap Battle, uh, we ended up going first overall for the day, 201.7 by Cameron. I just went out in the fourth session and did it my fastest ever, 211.2. .2. So really happy about that. It gives me some promise that tomorrow with better weather uh, and nicer, like, you know, newer tires, I have the potential to break that 210 that I'm chasing. So that's almost a whole two seconds faster than I'd gone and like, in new tires and much better conditions. So I feel pretty confident with the car. Can't wait to get back out there tomorrow and see if we can correct that 210. Hey guys, we're here on Sunday. Things are looking good. We're getting pretty excited. There's a lot of people showing up here. We got cars and coffee. There's drifting up top. There's like 200 cars at the car show. It's definitely the time to throw down. Uh, pressure's on us a little bit, mostly on ourselves. We still have a pretty healthy, you know, three, four second gap to P2 right now. But, uh, but yeah, we're gonna see what kind of show we can put on today for Sunday and uh, hopefully go home with our heads held high. So we're here day two, it's lunchtime. Cameron went out the first two sessions. He did a two, one and a quarter fastest of the competition so far. We still know the car can do a two flat. So uh, hopefully this afternoon in the super lap competition itself, late in the day, uh, he's able to set a brand new record for the competition. Uh, but I'm gonna go into session three and four and chase that 210 that I've been wanting to get. So we are doing lunchtime now. They're doing a pit walk where they're allowing the fans to actually come around and look at all the cars. Uh, really excited to finally get going this afternoon and uh, see if I can beat my personal record of 211.2 that I did yesterday. It was about 1.30, we got 30 minutes before my first session of the day. It's still kind of cool for what it was yesterday, so I was able to do a 211.2 yesterday, maybe about 15 degree weather difference. Breaking it to 10 would obviously be ecstatic. It'd be, you know, insane, way more than I thought I'd be able to achieve. But even just getting a 210.9, just cracking that 211 would be awesome. So I'm about to do a quick warm up, get stretched out, and then get hopping in the car and get ready to go.
anything? Huh? Do you have anything? you have anything? Am I supposed to have anything? All right, so it's end of day here, Super Lap Battle, day two. Camera came in with the fastest lap time for the, for the event with a two minute .8 seconds. So we're so close to breaking that two minute mark. I think we'll definitely do it next time. I ended up doing a 2.11.2. .2. I can definitely crack that 2.10 and continue to work with Cameron to get me there. Really happy to have teamed up with Cameron and thank you so much. You know, we uh, brought the car out to win this thing and we did, so really happy about the results and couldn't have a better partner to do it with. Yeah, super pumped. Thanks, Rafa. All the crew guys. I mean, everybody worked so hard to get to this point. It was kind of a, an idea that just came about when I heard about this car, when all of us kind of figured out what this car was. And awesome job by all the team. You know, McLaren had Ryan out. We had Ray from Crucial here. Travis, everybody worked super hard. I mean, it wasn't one person. It was a, a huge group effort for like a full week from Monday to Sunday. Yeah. So, but yeah, Rafa did great. New personal best. Yep. Keep improving. We'll keep getting down there. Uh, this car's wicked, and I can't wait to go have some more fun with it and see what happens. Cool. All right, man. Appreciate it. Good work. And as always, thank you for watching. To your friends and your family, see you next time. <laughs>